A digital clock can display palindromes such as 414, as long as we ignore the colon. We want to determine the number of distinct possible palindromes on such a digital clock. So let's say we start at 1. Well, that means the last number is going to be 1. So that means we could have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that means in the 1 o'clock hour, there are six different possibilities. Well, the same is going to be true for the 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9 o'clock hours. But it's going to be different when we hit 10, because once we hit 10, then there's only one possibility, because it has to be symmetrical. Same thing with 11 and 12. So that means we just have 3. So what we have is we have 6 times 9, and then we add 3. So that's 54 plus 3, and that gives us 57 as the number of possible palindromes.